Hi boys and girls, I hope you're doing well and staying healthy. And since we can't be together right now and all the teachers are missing you a lot, we are going to be reading books through these videos. And today I am going to read Skippy Joan Jones by Judy Shagner. And if you've been in my classroom or are in my classroom right now, you know how much I enjoy reading this book. So Skippy Joan Jones. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about what it means to be a cat. Not a bird, not a mouse, or a grouse, nor a mouse, or a goose, nor a rat, or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet. She added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy Joan Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy Joan Jones, and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bound, Skippy Joan Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole! exclaimed Skippy Joan Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head, and my head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy Joan Jones climbed on his climbed into his toy box and riffled through some of his old junk. After he put on he put on his mask and a sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Fisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done just in dito. Back in the kitchen, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Julie Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy Joan Jones come out of his room now? asked Jujubee. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy Joan Jones wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a misterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay caramba, who goes there? asked Gibby John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skibito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. And then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skibito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. Si, I love mice and beans, said Skibito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego and Skipito half sneeze, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, ah, Chupichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yipi, yipito. It's the end of Alfredo Bozito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bambolito. Then all the chimichangos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta, and then they took a siesta. But after walk, waking up, the chimichangos 
got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bambolito for Skibito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Lucito, whispered the crowd, el blimpo bambolito bandito. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito, the bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Skibito outraged. Si, sí, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked them blue. Cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly, too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Skibito. Because we are full of the beans, too. Then Don Diego stood tall, and in his most somber voice he declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Ah? Huh? asked Skibito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Skibito. Then all of the chimichangos turned, turned towards Skibito, the great sword fighter. But poor Skibito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Skibito! Or is it the bandito will ito? They cried. Skibito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shaked like the jello and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then in a muy muy soft voice he said, My name is Kipito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Busito flew straight for Skipito into the bean eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles, cried Skipito, as he thrust his sword in the air. Suddenly, pop! when the bandito landed on Skipito's sword, and quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Busito, the bambolito bandito. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yee, pee pee, Skipito, our hero is in Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans, and now we can make our burritos. Back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John Jones' room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Banguito, Crushito, Papito, Skibito! Just in time to see Skibito's closet exploding. Then out flew candy beanbag doggies and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everybody cried. Hola, muchachitas, he said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, furry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Cuckoo Pugs? she scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Ooh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know my cat, but I forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the book, and hopefully I will read another one soon. Bye.